Through Night T10. Back in May 2014, I reviewed the T10S, which was a, still is a double A light. And Through Night has updated the T10 for 2016. And they sent me one to check out. And here is how it comes with their new style tin casing. This light is a very affordable $25.95. I'll put a link to Amazon down here somewhere. But let's look and see what we get inside. We get a little welcome letter. Salve. Uh, I bet those say hello. How about over here? Hello. Hello. Vielen Dank. Bonjour. Merci. Okay, anyway, enough with the linguistics there. Here we have the multilingual instruction manual. I'm going to guess in all of those same languages. Just a rough guess. But here are some of the details of the light. We have the run times. IPX8 rated, impact resistance one meter. Says it will throw 65 meters, which is probably a, uh, not gonna get use, official use out of it at that distance, but that's what it's rated. Anyway, there's the manual, and on to the light in here. Comes with a couple things in here. We get buried down here an extra O-ring. You can use this for your braces too, I think. Here is a diffuser, which I'll show you and of course the light itself, and we'll get this out of the way. We'll come back to the diffuser in a minute. So this light, like I said, is updated from the old version. This is the anodized aluminum. It's not the steel, it's not titanium. I actually like this one better than the steel. I think it feels a little bit lighter. It comes in at just a little bit over an ounce, I think, without the battery. This does take a single AA battery, which as you can see goes in here. There's the head. There's an O-ring there, and back together. So like I said, this is a little bit changed from the old model in a couple ways. The tail button here is now rubberized instead of the exposed metal. The pocket clip on the old version was screwed on, which I think I actually prefer because it's a little bit more stable. This one you can actually pull off if you're so inclined. There we go. You can pull it off, or you can put it back on. I prefer the one that's screwed on. I think it's a little bit more stable. However, this one is going to be a little bit more deep carry because you can see that goes all the way up to the top of the light there. On down the head, this has the new Cree XPL V6 LED, which is a larger LED, and it's going to increase the output from 169 lumens up to 252 lumens, still with similar run times. And you can see in there that orange peel reflector behind the anti-reflective coated glass lens. It does come in both a cool white and a neutral white, I believe, as well. So let's have a look at this. Here's the size of it. It's nice and small. Generally, I'm actually not that fond of AA lights, but having carried this one around, it actually is pretty small in the pocket. It's fairly thin, as you can see. And it's actually, this is also a little bit shorter, I forgot, shorter than the old version. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to carry in your pocket, either with or without the pocket clip, whatever you prefer. It does also have the diffuser here, which fits on here. And I think one of the reasons they may have left this unpainted or unanodized is because repeated on and off it may or may not I suppose could chip chip I don't know if chip is the word but some of the anodizing even though it's pretty tough and that just fits right on there it actually fits kind of almost snaps on just a little bit you can't quite hear it but it kind of snaps right in there and is nice and I mean it's it snaps on there firm enough that I, I can't shake the light off of it Function of this light, it is a reverse click only, so you push it in, you let it go, and the light comes on. It has the three modes, like I said, it has the moonlight, 0.2 lumens, it will do that for 242 hours, sorry, 240 hours, up to 13 lumens for 40 hours, and up to a blinding, it is at least if I shine it right at you, uh, 252 lumens, and it will do that for 1.5 hours, and then back down. The three ways you can switch between the modes, either you can half press, you can turn it off and back on within two seconds, or you can loosen and tighten the head. And that will alternate between them as well. It does have mode memory, so if you turn it off, it will come back on to whatever mode you use it at, or you left it on at, which I actually like. Generally, I don't like mode memory, but I found that the 13 lumen setting of this is actually pretty tolerable for looking in people's mouths and eyes in the ER. So I like that I can have it always come on to that 13 lumens and it works well for that. It doesn't have any hidden modes, no strobes, no SOS, which is fine with me because in my life, I think I have meaningfully used those other than just to mess with people like twice. So I don't mind that this doesn't have any of that, uh, any of those fluffy modes, so perfectly fine with me. 
The beam profile on this, let me show you, give you at least a vague idea. So there's a decent amount of throw down the center with that orange peel reflector, and then out the side here, I would say these are going about 30 degrees, not quite 45, but it has a decent amount of flood out the side, and then a nice, decent hot spot in the middle, as you can see there. And then you can take the diffuser and put it on it and use that as an area light. It will tail stand. That's where it's real nice that it tail stands. I forgot to mention on the back there, it's nice and flat so you can tail stand it. So places where this is useful, if you want to keep this in your car, you want to keep it in your bug out bag, you want to keep it for a blackout, use it to light up a room because otherwise just with the light itself, it's not going to do as nice, but throw that on there and it will work as well. And you can direct planes and traffic and things like that if you like. There's the diffuser low, medium, and up to high, and you can see nice area light with that versus without it. So that's it, the Thrunite T10 updated for 2016 with this reverse click design. It is a great everyday carry light, not going to be a tactical light by any means, but with the size, single AA, a decent amount of output at 252 lumens, this is going to be a great everyday carry light, and it's a decently small size, even with that double A. Again, not usually fond of that, but this one is, they've shrunk it down some, and I like this one better than the old 2014 version. So check one out, Through Night T10.